Have you ever dined on fungus? Well, if you've eaten mushrooms, you have. We like to think of those tasty little umbrella-shaped things as vegetables, but technically, they're fungi. Fungus omelette, anyone? Mushrooms grow in compost, and preparing that compost is a science in itself. It starts with horse manure and straw. The correct balance of moisture and air is critical because mushrooms need both to grow. So mushroom farmers have to turn the pile frequently to air it out, and they water it daily for about a week. This kicks off plenty of chemical and biological activity. Ammonia forms and microorganisms grow and reproduce, releasing heat. Good compost requires a nitrogen content of about 2%, so farmers add a nitrogen supplement, chicken manure. They also add gypsum, a mineral that improves the structure of the compost and neutralizes its acidity. At the week to two week mark, depending on how the compost is progressing, it goes into the composter, which waters, aerates and blends it. The compost comes out chocolate brown, smelling of ammonia. Next, they pasteurize it to kill off any insects or insect eggs. They heat the compost at 58 degrees Celsius for eight hours, then at 45 degrees for five days. Then, over several more days, they gradually cool it to 25 degrees as microorganisms turn the ammonia into a nitrogen protein, a mushroom nutrient. The compost is finally ready. The farmer sows grains of wheat inoculated with mushroom mycelium, fine threads of fungi that act as the mushroom's roots. A layer of soil and peat moss goes on top of the compost. The mycelium draws water from the soil and nutrients from the compost. After about two weeks, tiny mushrooms begin to develop. They grow fast, doubling their size every 24 hours. And this in relative darkness. Green plants need sunlight for photosynthesis, but mushrooms don't. What mushrooms do need is air, because they breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Green plants do the opposite. Another three days and the tiny mushrooms are fully grown and ready for harvesting. Pickers have to be careful not to remove the roots because left intact, they'll sprout a new batch of mushrooms every three to five days for about three weeks. They put the harvested mushrooms in a refrigerator just above freezing temperature for about a half hour to stop the growing process. On the packaging line, they weigh the mushrooms and arrange them in a container, buttons up. A machine perforates the plastic covering to let the mushrooms breathe. This ensures a longer shelf life. The mushrooms stay in a fridge until they leave for the store the following day. It's taken about 12 weeks from the start of composting to your supermarket shelf.